This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Friday. I almost said Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> been waiting for the weekend. Lots of people have. I know. I got this jacket dry clean finally. The button's gone. <laughs> so Priorities I'm gonna, this I'm going to do the show like this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering why Ray is crossing his arms for yeah, the rest of the right. show. This button's off the uh, paper clip. I can sew. I find me can. a button, I'll put it back That's on all. for you. Any buttons in the weather center, John? <laughs> I will find something for you, Ray. <laughs> what a team. We've got some duct tape. <laughs> Great. There oh. we go. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. work. Just Make wrap sure. it around the waist. It's perfect. <laughs> Use it all the time. New fashion. Uh, we've got some showers off the coast this morning. Those showers are tending to stay there. They're really not moving all that much. They're uh, drifting southward, kind of paralleling the coast. But a couple of them have actually built a little bit closer to the shoreline and areas around Venice Inglewood seeing a little bit of light rainfall there. There is a chance of an isolated shower during the morning hours before about oh, noon time or so, but then afterwards the showers will be all in inland areas for the bulk of the afternoon before they move back to the coast once again later in the day. You can see that one little shower, lone little shower, kind of just barely touching the coast. School bus forecast calls today for a daytime high near 92. A little bit of a chance of a shower during the morning hours, but much better chance inland starting later in the day. Complete forecast coming up in a few. Very nice buses. Thank you, John. Let's check the roads first off before school begins this morning. No problem there in downtown Manatee, downtown Bradenton, Manatee County. Looks like a buildup on 301 northbound on 301 also in sarasota county uh, southbound on 41 as you approach the bayfront near the sailor and nurse statue otherwise pretty good right now and then farther south all clear south county at 502 on your friday morning our top story this morning new details are surfacing in the arrest of the alleged zoda beach resort killer daryl hannah jr made his first appearance in court yesterday charged with two counts of second degree murder and one count of armed robbery our Jess Dowdrick joins us now live from the Zoda Resort to explain Hannah's connection to the resort. Jess? Good morning, Jacqueline and Ray. Longboat Key Police say they started to look at Hannah right away after an early tip. Now, Hannah was a part-time security guard here at the Zoda Resort. He resigned from his employer, Victory Security, the same day he turned a gun on two of his fellow employees. Longboat Key Police Chief Peter Cummings says because Hannah was so familiar with the layout of the hotel, that's why he believes Hannah went unnoticed the night of the killings, stealing $900 from the hotel and shooting and killing two of his co-workers. Chief Cummings says Hannah went into that hotel the night intending to commit murder. Hannah is now behind bars without bond after his first hearing in Manatee County yesterday afternoon. Hannah's friend Ed Kiefer also works in security for a different company and says he had met Hannah at Cortez Plaza. Hannah was complaining to Kiefer that he didn't get enough hours at the Zoda Resort. So Kiefer was trying to get Hannah a job with his company, but his supervisors has her had heard about Hannah's alleged past. They have known about him in the past having issues. Um, I don't know what kind of issues, obviously. Uh, that's all confidential. So, you know, uh, but when I met him in person, I, I wouldn't think that he would do anything, you know. Police say it's still unclear at this point whether or not Hannah had an accomplice. That's why they are going to keep the investigation open and that reward money is still on the table. Now coming up at 530, we'll talk to one of the victims, Kevin Carter's partner of 24 years. Hear what he has to say about Hannah. Reporting live on Longboat Key, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Jess. Very sad. One week ago this morning. Other news now. The search continues for the man who robbed a local Walgreens earlier this week on Bee Ridge Road. It happened Tuesday night at the store between Honoré and Kettleman in the Publix Plaza. The man walked in and demanded narcotics. These are the pictures of the armed robber. If you recognize this person, please call the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. Well, some teachers in Sarasota are getting a lesson of their own yesterday after about 40 new Booker Elementary middle and high school teachers learned more about where their students are coming from. The Booker Nation organization giving them a firsthand look at their students' community. The goal to build a better understanding between both teachers and students. And in various cultures, we began to connect with them, and I think it promotes civility, not only here at Booker High School, between our teachers and our students, between the students and the students as well. You know, I've lived here for a while, 
and I thought I knew a lot of Sarasota history, and, and I really didn't. I had read occasional news clippings. What the tour did is it, it brought it to life for me. Well, the tour took teachers on a walk throughout Newtown with stops at 12 historic sites along MLK Way and south towards the Rosemary District. And the woman in charge of Manatee County Public Schools says the school board is not ruling out the possibility of raising taxes to pay for expenses. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says the district is hoping to give t raises to teachers, but also keep a healthy reserve fund. She says it's hard to do it all. It's a very difficult balance to increase our reserves as well as uh, enhancing the pay of our teachers, and we need to do both. And that's why our board is in conversation about the possibility of going for a one mil or half mil referendum. Last year, voters approved renewing a half penny sales tax increase for the school. Despite the fact that the increase brings in $33 million a year, Green says it can only be used for capital purchases. Also in Manatee County, a setback for a major development proposed for Sarasota Bay. According to the Bradenton Herald, the Manatee County Planning Commission recommended denial of the controversial Aqua by the Bay. Carlos Baruffs, the developer right there, he wants to build more than 2,000 homes on 500 acres on Elkhorn Parkway near Bayshore Gardens in Bradenton. One opponent on the planning board said he was concerned about the height of the project. This, has been a, this project has been going on for years in various phases, and it's always been because it's a huge, like one and a half mile uh, bayfront. So it's because of that location, it's been very controversial in the community. Uh, on what what they want and what they can't do related to that. That's actually in Bradenton. Despite the board's denial, the project still goes to the county commission next Wednesday morning. A proposed fire fee has some Venice residents concerned as city officials would like to change the way the fire department is funded. Currently, it's funded out of the city's general fund, which operates off taxes that can fluctuate with the market. This new fee would make it more standard across the board, but it could mean an increase in how much some residents pay. Mine is going to be only around 200 and some dollars the first year, but it will double, double to $428. The city will hold two fee information sessions on August 16th, the first at 9 a.m. and the second at 5 p.m. at City Hall. A follow-up now on a story we told you about yesterday regarding a possible messy neighbor leaking oil from a business in the Gulfgate area. A pizzeria owner complained the adjacent auto repair shop was leaking oil into their shared alleyway. Well, Sarasota County's Environmental Division checked out the site on Superior Avenue and found no evidence of oil. The used motor oil at the business is being handled and contained properly within the building, they said. The county will be following up on the issue over the next coming days to make sure it is still up to code. A Florida group trying to preserve Confederate monuments is backing a new effort, creating a statue of Snooty the Manatee. However, opposing group Safe Southern Heritage does not want a Snooty statue to replace the war memorial. The group saying it supports a Snooty statue, just not at the Manatee County Courthouse. A spokesperson with that organization recently speaking with the Manatee County Commission, asking them not to remove the current Confederate statue in place outside the courthouse. An online petition seeking to replace that monument with a memorial of Snooty has reached over 12,000 supporters, but a decision has not yet been reached on the future plans of either statue. And speaking of Snooty, he will be remembered next month at his former home. The South Florida Museum in Bradenton will host a memorial open house on Sunday, September 10th, in tribute of the manatee's remarkable life. Snooty died July 23rd after becoming stuck inside a tunnel used to access plumbing for his tank. He was a record-breaking 69 years old. The Manatee County YMCA isn't just offering fitness programs. It also has a way to raise money and save members money at the same time. The Y held a ribbon-cutting ceremony yesterday for its new Nifty Thrift Shop on 10th Street East in Palmetto. There are all sorts of items up for sale, including clothes, furniture, books, electronics, and much more. All proceeds will go toward helping families and children in Manatee County in need. Y members will get a 10% discount in the store. You know, we raise money every year, but we have a gap in the need and with what we've been able to raise here in Manatee County. So it's about $100,000. So this shop was invented and created in order to take care of that gap. 
And our own Bob Harrigan emceed yesterday's ribbon cutting ceremony. Happening today, the Pines of Sarasota are hosting their annual Sensitarian Celebration Tea Party. The senior community is home to 12 women over the age of 100, so they'll be honored by Pines staff and volunteers as well as Suncoast dignitaries. It all kicks off at 2.30 this afternoon. And as school starts Monday in Sarasota County, the city is hosting its annual Back to School Resource Fair for students and parents this weekend. It'll feature dozens of information tables as well as offer free vision screenings courtesy of the Northport Lions Club. The fair runs from 8.30 to 11.30 Saturday morning at the Morgan Family Community Center in Northport. The uh, logic of starting school on a Thursday versus a Monday. I know. I actually had some people ask me that on my Facebook, and uh, I, I had somebody respond saying those first two days they're able to get the syllabus and, and the, yeah. the basic stuff out of the way so they can hit the ground running on Monday. I can see both ways. Yeah. All makes right. 5 11 now on this Friday I'm morning. I'm sinking. Oh, <laughs> like, hello down there. How are you? <laughs> Got some showers out there in golf waters this oh, morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. a few of them around. Uh, a couple of the bus stops right along the coastline might get a a little bit of a sprinkle or brief shower this morning. But uh, then over the weekend, I think uh, things will kind of shape up and we'll look for those afternoon showers to kind of break the heat because it is warm. All right. All right. Awesome. Thanks, John. Still ahead, the latest in Suncoast traffic, and it's almost the weekend, which of course means Linda Carson will give us an inside look at all the fun things to do right here on the Suncoast. And later in the hour, the latest threats between U.S. and North Korea. That story at 533. Because my parents told me I have to be responsible. Because my first coach told me you can do this. Because my boss showed me how to do a good job. Because my teacher helped me see the choices. I'm swimming faster than I ever dreamed. I am a valuable employee. I discovered that I could work as an artist. I will be whatever I want to be. Youth with disabilities should grow up expecting to work and succeed. For more information, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $10 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received J.D. Power Awards for highest customer service. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317 Go online or visit a Target store today. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. Um, and I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her so I could call and thank them. And she's doing fine. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Life Alert saves a person from a catastrophe every 10 minutes. Life Alert is a lifesaver. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. That's 1-800-652-3012. Call now 1-800-652-3012. For a free brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, the cloud cover has kind of kept the temperatures up just a little bit, so we're at 81 right now to start off the morning with a dew point value of 74. South wind also helping to keep our temperatures a little warmer, coming in now at about 3. That's at the surface, but the steering currents are aloft are coming more out of the north, and that's helping to take showers along the coast and keep them along the coast. The showery activity there helping also to provide some cloud cover for the 
rest of the folks across inland areas as well. 77 Mayaca, 76 Wachula, Arcadia, 81 degrees in Punta Gorda, 82 in Inglewood, 81 in Venice, Sarasota, Longboat Key, 78 in Bradenton Parish and Lakewood Ranch, and Mayaca coming in at 77. So here are our showers. They've been there all morning long. Basically started off with a little bit of a land breeze kind of getting them going just a bit. And just a northerly wind kind of tending to send them parallel to the coast or even a little further out into Gulf waters. But a couple of them have built a little bit closer to shore. So we'll watch for that. There's a general kind of spin in our atmosphere. You see that that's that upper level low we were talking about yesterday. It's also a little surface reflection of that low heading north along the Atlantic coast as well. Hurricane Center watching it to see if there might be any development there, but even if there was, it would be heading away from us and certainly not impacting our weather all that much. Other than the showers that we had around yesterday, things are pretty dry right now across the Sun Coast for the most part. Down around Fort Myers, there's some pretty good thunderstorms booming there, but locally we've got some showers just offshore of Holmes Beach and uh, going through central Longboat Key just offshore about 10 miles or so, and then down around Inglewood in through areas of Rotunda, we've got some light showers just sprinkling the coastline, nothing really heavy. Uh, during the morning hours, it is possible we can see one or two of these showers pop up along the coastline as winds start to shift a little bit more to the westerly direction because of a building area of high pressure and a little trough of low pressure lifting northward. The combination of those two will bring us a more westerly wind flow this afternoon. And take a few of the showers that are close to the coast and maybe bringing them on shore. But it's inland later today when our showers will really fire up. That'll be occurring after about 2 o'clock. And then we'll see those showers become fairly intense with lots of lightning and thunder. And generally a slow drift back to the west as we head into the evening. So chance for an AM shower but a much better chance for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms that will drift back toward the coast during the evening hours. The heat index today up there near 100 once again. So another sweltering afternoon. As high pressure continues to build in over Gulf waters and nose across our state, we're going to continue into this pattern right straight through the weekend. Showers building along the coastline during the morning hours, followed by better chances of heavier rain inland later in the day and then gradually drifting back to the coast. The same thing on Saturday, I think. Watch for some morning showers near the coast, followed by some better chances of inland rain a little later in the day. As far as the tropics go, there's not a whole lot here nearby that uh, is of immediate concern, except for this one little area of disturbed weather here. But again, that's only about a 10% chance and it's moving to the north. The other area of disturbed weather is continuing to be monitored out in Gulf waters. And again, this does look like it would, if it did develop, eventually move away from the United States, recurving back out into the open waters. But we'll keep an eye on that, particularly as we head into the second half of the weekend. Daytime temperatures near 90, rain chances coming in at about 40 or 50% for the next couple of days. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look at traffic in Manatee County, 301 heading northbound, seeing some more cars on the roadway, as well as State Road 70. There is some sort of accident on 39th Street and 53rd Avenue, so keep that in mind if you're taking that commute this morning. In Sarasota County, pretty quiet. Some slowdowns on the Bayfront. Also, B Ridge and Clark Road heading towards the interstate. There is also an accident at 17th Street and Chester Avenue, so keep that in mind if you're heading up towards Manatee County. South County, pretty quiet this morning, 519 on your Friday morning. Whether you want to kick up your heels this weekend or sit back and let someone else entertain you, we've got some places you might want to check out. Our Linda Carson has details in this week's Suncoast Scene. There's a rumor that things get dull around here this time of year. While not this year, thanks to the FSU Oslo Conservatory, they've opened a new theater called Dog Days Theater, and this week they're opening Double Indemnity. It's got everything. It's a thumping great story. Uh, it's got uh, murder and mayhem and sex and romance, and it's got some laughs and it's got tone and uh, it explores the dark side in a very interesting way. Double indemnity at the FSU Performing Arts Center August 10th through August 27th. And Maria Wearies, one of our favorite Suncoast performers, is inviting all her fans to join her at the Glenridge Performing Arts Center for her birthday celebration. I couldn't think of a better way to turn 20 than to have a concert um, in a place that I love, which is the Glenridge Performing Arts Center. 
and it's going to be on August 12th at 8 and August 13th at 3 o'clock. And we're going to have birthday cake, lots of surprises, all sorts of music. There'll be music from Broadway to jazz to standards, and Maria will even introduce a song she wrote. And a play called Double Wide makes its world premiere at the Florida Studio Theater. It's called a rolling world premiere because it opens at several theaters across the country at the same time. It's a play that is really an American story. It's about this family that lives in a double wide and their land is being taken by the city through eminent domain and they're going to have to move their double wide, which may not seem like a big deal except for the fact that they had a dream of building a house on this land. She says it's about a family that keeps trying to get ahead, but gets pushed back instead at FST through August 20th. And the Producers opens this week at the Manatee Performing Arts Center. It's a giant show. Uh, most people know it from the Mel Brooks movie, which was made into a, a very successful Broadway play, winning 12 Tony Awards. And then it was made into a movie musical. So a lot of people have seen it, but there's nothing like that big splashy musical that is so funny and makes you laugh. August 10th through August 27th. And Arsenic and Old Lace is at the Player Center through August 20th. And they tell me when you see this show, you'll realize looking after a family can be murder. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Great choices. I know. I really enjoy going to the Florida Studio Theater. I yeah. think it's very intimate. It's a great setting. You're right there where the, where the actors and actresses right. are, and there's great food as well. Yeah, I'm going to the Herb, Urbanite. Is that pronounced, John? Urbanite? Urbanite Theater this weekend by Whole Foods. Okay. Well, let us know how that yeah, goes. Yeah, real small, apparently. Okay. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. We'll tell you why Miami Heat fans won't need actual tickets for the games anymore. And coming up at 5.30 as school gets underway across the state, there's growing opposition towards charter schools. Why teachers are speaking out about Florida's new education law when we come back. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate. Or shop at Goodwill. I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice Volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Thank you for sending your pictures our way. We're going to show a few this hour and more next hour. First off, who's our first little one? That is Alyssa Sc Scavelli. I think that's how you pronounce that. She had her... First day yesterday at Little People's Place here in Sarasota. Look at her with her backpack all ready to go uh, this morning. <laughs> yesterday morning, actually. Yeah. Cutie. Oh, and there's Piper and Grant Geekly. That is uh, our uh, one of our manager's children. And he is there with Father Fausto over at St. Martha's School. He's pretty popular. Lots of people here in the community know him. And that is Charlie Geekly's children. He works here at ABC7. One more from St. Martha's, Alyssa Riccio. 
Nice to see her face, and she's in eighth grade. Thanks for that picture as well. Oh, and then there is Kara Barton's son. He is in second grade. He's kind of tall for a second grader. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hard to tell. So, yeah, send your pictures this way. We're going to show some more next hour, but feel free to send them to any of us, and we'll get them on the air. There's our respective uh, Facebook addresses. We'd love to hear from you. That's Cheer. right. And next week, when Sarasota County Schools gets underway, you can send us Sarasota County students' pictures. We'd love to feature them right here on Good Morning Sun Coast as well. That's right. 525 now on your Friday morning. Well, Ticketmaster may soon meet its match. Some say about time. <laughs> Amazon is in talks to sell concert and sports tickets. ABC's Candace Gibson and Diane Macedo have details. In today's Tech Bites, Amazon is trying to become your source for concert tickets. The online retailer is trying to find a partner to distribute event tickets here in the U.S. And that would put Amazon in direct competition with Ticketmaster. Consumer Reports has pulled its recommendation of Microsoft Surface laptops and tablets. That's after a survey of nearly 91,000 users found that they break too soon, especially compared to other brands. Microsoft disagrees with the finding. And NBA fans in Miami will have to make sure to bring their smartphones to the games this season. You see, the Heat is the first NBA team to switch to a mobile-only ticketing policy. The teams are getting away from paper tickets to reduce fraud, and even if you buy a ticket at the box office on game night, it'll still be sent to your phone. I didn't even realize that people still print out tickets. Can't keep that star tech anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Those are your Tech Bites. Tech Bites, brought to you by GEICO. The running of the bull dogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Back to school at Burlington, there's so much to choose from for so little money. They have racks and racks of school clothes, lunch boxes, a gazillion backpacks, hats, sneakers. All the great brands at a fraction of the cost. Mom saved a ton at Burlington. She's driven by a primal desire for meat. A lynx in the wild, and your cat. For a lynx, this need is satisfied by what the wild provides. For your cat, it's meat-rich blue wilderness. Because your cat is wild inside. Glasses and contacts, you need them to see, but they put such a strain on your life. Due to new advances in vision improvement technology, LASIK is now affordable for almost everyone, with procedures starting as low as $299 per eye. And over one million procedures performed by our trusted independent surgeons, LASIK surgery is a sensible, safe, and affordable solution to improve your vision. So call now to talk to a LASIK Vision Institute counselor and schedule your free evaluation. 1-800-813-0109. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota Flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism 
shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. This half hour on Good Morning Suncoast, ten, tension on the rise between North Korea and the U.S. Both sides are now adding to the already troubling rhetoric. Plus, as preliminary hear hearings take place in the case of a Penn State fraternity accused of a hazing debt, Investigators now say a key piece of evidence was purposely deleted. And charges now filed against a daycare driver in Orlando as a cause of death for a three-year-old boy is released. Those stories and more right now on Good Morning Suncoast. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Friday. I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Ray Collins. Up to Friday, August the 11th, 5.32. Let's get to the forecast first off. Here he is, folks, the great Scalzi. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Nice. Now hey, we just need confetti it. to come out. Pardon me? We need, we need confetti to come out when you do that. There you go. <laughs> I think that's in the budget for uh, next quarter. There we go. Yeah. We're, uh, we've got some uh, showers out in Gulf waters. Those showers actually have tagged the coastline in a few places, particularly now around Anna Maria Island, Holmes Beach, seeing a little bit of light rain. Siesta Key seeing a drizzle or two. We have a slight chance of a shower during the morning hours and a little bit of cloud cover out there as well. But that will be followed by much better chances of rainfall in inland areas. Put the coastal rain chance at about 20% through the morning hours and about 40 to 50% in inland areas a little bit later in the day. Those late day showers will drift back toward the coast during the evening hours. We'll take a look at the weekend forecast coming up for you. All right, thank you, John. Talk to you soon. Look at that already. A car accident this morning, not even 535 yet. And there's an issue at 39th Street at State Road 70s. So be aware of that. And it looks like the traffic indeed is uh, congested around that spot. Also an issue at uh, 17th Street at Chester Avenue in the Newtown area. Also, you'll see there 41, a little slow northbound as you head out of the uh, bayfront toward Fruitville. South County map all clear at 533 on your Friday morning. Our top story this morning, new details surfaced in the arrest of the alleged Zoda Beach Resort killer. Daryl Hanna Jr. made his first appearance in court yesterday, charged with two counts of second degree murder and one count of armed robbery. Right, Jess Dowdrick now joins us live from the Zoda Beach Resort to explain Hanna's connection to the hotel. Jess? Good morning, Jacqueline and Ray. Longboat Key Police say they started to look into Hannah almost right away after an early tip. Hannah was a security guard part time here at the Zoda Resort. He resigned from his employer, Victory Security, the same day that he opened fire on two of his co workers. Hannah is behind bars without bond after his first hearing in Manatee County yesterday afternoon. Watching those proceedings was Thomas Swigert, the 24 year old. 24 year partner of one of the victims, Kevin Carter. Swigert says Carter was the head of security and didn't particularly like Hannah. Carter would tell his partner Hannah would leave shifts early and had an overall bad attitude. Swigert has never met Hannah but says he's glad he will remain behind bars. I only blame Daryl. Uh, yes, Daryl may have been a victory employee, but that's not Victory's fault. They cannot, they cannot determine what's in the hearts and minds of their employees. It's unclear at this point whether or not Hannah had an accomplice. That's why police are keeping the investigation open and that reward money is still on the table. Reporting live on Longboat Key, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Jess. As the rain starts to fall there on Longboat Key. Yep, already. Now to the latest war of words with North Korea. President Trump standing by his comments, promising to unleash 
fire and fury on the rogue nation, now saying maybe those words weren't tough enough. Well, North Korea responded with specific plans to fire four missiles at Guam within a week. ABC's Ariel Reshef has the latest. U.S. B-1 bombers taking off from Guam on a training mission amid increased tensions as President Trump doubles down and defends his tough talk on North Korea. It's about time that somebody stuck up for the people of this country and for the people of other countries. So, uh, if anything, maybe that statement wasn't tough enough. Speaking Thursday at his Bedminster Golf Club, the president, defiant in the face of concern over his comments promising fire and fury in response to threats from the North Korean regime. What would be tougher than fire and fury? Well, you'll see. You'll see. But Defense Secretary James Mattis striking a calmer tone. The American effort is diplomatically led. It has diplomatic traction. It is gaining diplomatic results. North Korea answering the president's rhetoric, vowing to, quote, mercilessly wipe out provocateurs and threatening to fire four missiles into the ocean near the U.S. territory of Guam. Let's see what he does with Guam. He does something in Guam. It will be an event the likes of which nobody's seen before, what will happen in North Korea. Despite the high drama in recent days, little has changed on the ground. At this point, there has been no change in the threat level, uh, either in a military base in Guam uh, or uh, in our civilian community. The U.S. military not operating at an elevated security level. And experts telling ABC News North Korea does not appear to be preparing any new missile launches. All of this coming after the U.N. Security Council passed crippling sanctions on North Korea. The president is set to meet with U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley later today. Ariel Reshef, ABC News, Washington. This all comes as China carries out a series of rocket launches as part of a missile drill in a recent test of their combat abilities. The focus was on the use of digital equipment, including unmanned aerial devices. These recent drills come in the midst of escalated tensions with nearby North Korea. Here at home, the Trump administration's plan to curb legal immigration could actually hurt the U.S. economy, some say. Two recent studies said the RAISE Act, that's right, the RAISE Act would erase 4.6 million jobs by the year 2040. RAISE, by the way, stands for Reforming American Immigration for a Strong Economy. The White House called the results inaccurate and said Americans can fill in those job losses. Well, it is official. Last year was the warmest year on record since record keeping began 137 years ago. That's according to the annual State of the Climate Report issued by NOAA. 2016 set new records for global surface temperature, sea surface temperature, and Greenhouse gases, more than 500 scientists from 60 countries contributed to that report using tens of thousands of measurements from independent data sets. Researchers attribute the record heat to long-term global warming in El Nino. The hottest year on record before this report was 2015, and get this before that, 2014. It is 538 right now, a bombshell accusation at a preliminary hearing for members of a Penn State fraternity. Eighteen frat brothers are accused of getting Tim Piazza severely intoxicated and then leaving him to die after he fell down a flight of stairs. A detective revealed that footage of Piazza during one of the frat hazing rituals was actually deleted two days after his death. That makes us really wonder what could have possibly been on this tape that's worse than what was left behind. No word yet if that missing footage can be recovered by investigators. The family attorney says this could lead to more indictments and also more charges. An observant airline passenger managed to uncover two child sex abusers on her flight. It all happened after the passenger noticed explicit texts being sent back and forth by the two people on your screen that were sitting in front of her. 56-year-old Michael Keller and 50-year-old Gail Lynn Burnworth of Tacoma, Washington, allegedly sending texts to one another that detailed plans to drug and molest children. The passenger took pictures of those texts and alerted a flight attendant. Police say if it wasn't for that passenger, several children could have been in harm's way. And a jet flu flight from Fort Lauderdale to Barbados made a U-turn yesterday after three flight attendants fell ill. The attendants complained of headaches, saying there was an odor or fumes on board. They were treated on scene but refused to be transported to the hospital. Hazmat crews later checked the aircraft but could not find anything wrong with it. A new crew was assigned to that flight and it continued its route to Barbados. The incident is still being investigated. An update now from Orlando where we're hearing a cause of death for a little boy 
who was left in a hot day caravan earlier this week. Little three-year-old Miles Hill died of hyperthermia when he was left unattended from morning to evening. Detectives uh, simulated the conditions and found that temperatures inside reached as high as 144 degrees inside that van. Police arrested the driver of the van seen right there, Deborah St. Charles. She's facing charges of aggravated manslaughter. The number of school districts challenging Florida's sweeping new education law continues to grow. Educators here on the Sun Coast have voiced their opposition to the law, which steers money to privately run charter schools. Now Miami-Dade is joining six other school districts that are pledging a proposed lawsuit to block that legislation. Charter schools are in line to get more than $96 million from this provision. Legislators have defended the new law, saying charter schools are public schools that deserve their share of local tax dollars. Well, if you're feeling lucky, new scratch-off lottery tickets are making their debut this week. The Florida Lottery is rolling out five new games. Tickets range from $1 to $10. Top prizes pay off between $3,000 and $2 million. I'll take the $2 million. Lottery <laughs> officials say customers always want new options. Scratch-off games uh, last fiscal year contributed to over 68% of our sales and are a huge part of our po portfolio. Our players love new games and we always want to keep the lottery fresh out there. Meantime, the Powerball and Mega Millions both have jackpots, by the way, of over $300 million. Wouldn't that be a nice little check to come your way? Do you ever play lottery? I, I, I've played like once or twice when somebody just brings them or buys them for me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, hi, get a dollar, if not anything. It has to come to you, though, first. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I just never think I'm like, I'm not going to win anyway. I, I feel the same way. Do you, do you ever play? <laughs> I'm not a big gambler. Yeah. Even for that. Okay. I'm awful yeah. at the little slot machines, too. Yeah. Once <laughs> in a while, they, I throw them in, you know, the Christmas stockings or something. Right, right. Some yeah, little good fun. Gift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be diff difficult if you threw one in someone's stocking and they won $300 million? <laughs> I hope they have plenty of Christmas cheer. Right? <laughs> good memory. Good memory. Where it came from. That's right. <laughs> Some showers in the forecast. Talk about that in a sec. All right. Still ahead, we'll have the latest in Sun Coast traffic and suicide. It's the third leading cause of death in young Americans. We'll take a closer look look as suicide rates continue to climb up next in Health Smart. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with Mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $10 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received JD Power Awards for highest customer service. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317 Go online or visit a Target store today. 
This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at some pretty quiet conditions across the Sun Coast this morning, with the exception of a few scattered showers that have built Thanks to, generally speaking, a wind that has brought showers a little bit closer to the coastline. It's a warm start to the morning with 81 degrees. Dew point value coming in at 74. A few scattered clouds around in a lot of places, a shower or two in others. With a south wind coming in at 3, switching to the west early on today and taking a few of the showers that are closer to the coastline and really bringing them on shore during the morning hours. 77 in Wachula, Arcadia, 78 in Mayaca, 79. Punta Gorda, Northport, Parish, Bradenton, 81 in Sarasota, 82 Longbow Key, and 80 and 81 in Venice and Inglewood, respectively. There's our showers out in Gulf Water. They're, they're sinking to the south, being pushed down by a general circulation around an area of low pressure. That wind pushing those showers down is also allowing for some of the showers to kind of build back toward the coastline, and a few of them clipping the coastline as they progress southward. One in particular now near uh, areas of uh, central Longboat Key, down through Siesta Key, even having tagged areas around Holmes Beach as well. These showers actually producing some fairly heavy rainfall offshore uh, could produce some brief, very brief periods of some moderate rainfall right along the immediate coastline of Longboat Key. Otherwise, most of the area is pretty quiet this morning. We do have that chance, about a 20% chance, of seeing some showers along the coastline. As high pressure builds in out in Gulf waters, we develop more of a westerly wind flow, which will take some of these showers and cause them to build in inland areas this afternoon. Much better chance of inland showers a little bit later on. And it will be a humid, warm afternoon with heat indexes again near 100 or better. Uh, Watch for a slight chance of AM showers, about 20%. And then that uh, p.m. chance of showers coming in starting at about 2 o'clock and then going through the afternoon in inland areas at about 50%. And those showers will build back toward the coastline. The RPM computer model shows those showers building in inland areas a little bit later in the day and then drifting back to the coast. Same sort of thing will happen again on Saturday, I think. Good chances of showers for everyone starting first along the coastline, then building inland and then back to the coast. Same thing again on Sunday as well. So this pattern is kind of locked in for the next several days, bringing about a 40% chance of rainfall. Then as we head into next work week, maybe we'll have a slight dip in the rain chances, but daytime highs remain warm, coming in in the low 90s. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. Let's take a look at traffic in Manatee County. If you're heading out the door, you're going to see some congestion on 301 heading north and southbound. There is an accident at 39th Street and State Road 70, so keep that in mind if you usually take that route. I-75 looking clear as we head into Sarasota County. There is another accident at 17th Street and Chester Avenue, so if you're heading up towards Manatee County, keep that in mind. 41 looking good as we head into South County, and again, another accident in I-75 southbound, a vehicle fire actually at exit 200. So lots of uh, activity across the Sun Coast at 549 already on your Friday morning. In this hour's Health Smart, suicide is the third leading cause of death for Americans 15 to 24 years old. And disturbing numbers, a new report shows the rate of suicide for older teens has gone up in recent years, especially for teenage girls. Kim Hutcherson has the story. 
Data from the National Center for Health Statistics sheds light on suicide rates for older American teenagers. The suicide rate for girls between the ages of 15 and 19 reached a 40-year high in 2015. It increased from 2.9 per 100,000 in 1975 to 5.1 per 100,000 in 2015. The rate for older teenage boys fluctuated over the same time period. Males between 15 and 19 committed suicide at a rate of 12 per 100,000 in 1975. The rate soared to 18.1 in 1990, fell to 10.8 in 2007, then rose to 14.2 per 100,000 in 2015. The study's author said previous studies from the CDC indicated that while females are more likely to think about suicide, males are more likely to actually take their own lives. The American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry says suicide threats should always be taken seriously. If a threat is made, caregivers should seek professional help from a physician or qualified mental health professional. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. Those numbers are interesting. A lot of people would argue that shows like 13's Re 13 Reasons Why and the glorification of social media have contributed to some of those numbers for teen suicides. Yeah, that's been on the news a lot lately in that direction, you're yeah. right. Still heading Good Morning Sun Coast. We'll update your day's top local news headlines. And lost luggage leads to an incredible act of kindness <laughs> by an airline employee. You're not going to want to miss this heartwarming story, so stay with us. We'll have it coming up. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Attention blood thinner users. If your loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The widely prescribed blood thinners Xarelto and Pradaxa have been linked to a number of dangerous side effects, including internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, stroke, brain hemorrhaging, and even death. If you or a loved one suffered any of these injuries after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the menu. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or loved one took Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. On Suncoast View, we discuss Tiger Woods' plea deal with our forensic science lawyer, plus details on Avita at the Oslo Ref and Gold Rush Barbecue. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. Welcome back, 554. Let's take a look at some of the top stories here on Suncoast.
arrest. Longboat Key Police say the man charged with killing two resort workers a week ago this morning was a former security guard there. 29-year-old Daryl Hanna made his first appearance in court yesterday. Plus, Sarasota County Sheriff deputies are hoping you'll recognize this armed robber in the surveillance picture. They say this is the person who held up a Walgreens drugstore on Bee Ridge near Cattleman earlier this week. And due to height issues, the Manatee Planning Board recommended against a major project on Sarasota Bay. Developer Carlos Barufs Aqua by the Bay now goes to the County Commission on Wednesday morning without planning board approval. Finally this hour, airline passenger Stacy Hurt was shown a true act of kindness by Southwest employee Sarah Rowan. When Sarah returned Stacy's lost luggage, she included a note of encouragement for Stacy, who's battling stage four colon cancer. The note told Stacy to power on as she entered yet another round of chemotherapy. Stacy recently got to meet Sarah face to face, as you saw for the first time, getting the chance to express just how much the note meant to her. Sarah knows all too well the pain a diagnosis can bring as she lost her father to cancer as well. So I love the fact the video caught their, their reunion, but yeah. begs the question, how did the airline worker know about the passenger's health? Who knows? You know? Interesting. Did she read something in the, in the luggage? Don't know. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? 556, more local news and John's weekend forecast in three minutes. Stay with us.